guys. Um, I'm so glad you're here for some Sunday inspiration. So, um, this was awesome. Uh, this, I wasn't, when I started this, I just had really no idea except for this right here. And all I kept thinking about was, you know, when I think about journey, you know, it's kind of discovery walking through the, through nature and stuff. So that's where all the rest of this came from. So the collage pack is, um, I'll have it listed. It's a previous collage pack, but it's all from the same collage pack. Um, so I'll have that listed. It's one of my favorites. It's just got some really yummy, good bits and pieces to it that just make me happy. And then the butterfly page that I use, this is all that's left. I mean, I use pretty much everything. Um, this is one that I just randomly put together of my collection of collage elements. And so I will make this up for you and have it available in the, if you're a subscriber um, to the newsletter, this will be in the subscriber resource library for you to download for free. And then I used two stencils. I used the um, Wildflower 2 and I used the Garden 1. I think this is Garden 1 stencil. And um, yeah, I did, I put the, um, I don't normally, I don't like using image transfer this way. Um, because it's so unpredictable. But for this, that's what I wanted. I wanted those bits and pieces, the tearing, the all of that. Mm, I love it. And so when you are expecting that, this is okay. Um, and I knew it was risky putting it down already on paper, um, which some of it tore, but again, that was still okay. So I knew that it was going to be okay no matter what. Um, just a hint when you're doing this type of image transfer, um, use gel medium because you have a little bit more control of how you put it down and make it a, a fairly thin coat. And it happens fast and it's really unpredictable. So if you want a really clear image transfer, this is not the, the technique for that. So, um, but... If you want something really rustic, then that work, it works beautifully. Um, and then, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, and I put my, I, you know, I used my palette knife and just got some color down. And then I've been using a lot of alcohol in my work lately. I, you know, I, you go on kicks where you, like, you do something all the time because you just fall in love with it and then it kind of fades out or whatever so right now I'm digging on the alcohol because I can just spray it on there and it just like there's these little bits of just yummy oh the, the stuff that makes me happy um, of this pooled water and kind of it, I can't even explain it. You'll see it when you see the close-up. But, and I just kept spraying that over and over. And even on after I stenciled, I sprayed back over it with the alcohol. And you know, there's little bits and pieces of the stencil part that came up as well, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be really kind of rustic and earthy and that kind of thing. And that's why also I used my this technique to, to kind of lighten this area up so that I could stamp on here. So that is um, that. And then I just drew vines around here, you know, just freehand with my charcoal pencil. And that is it. I decided not to do any type of shading in here because I didn't want to darken that um, up anymore. It's dark around the edges, but it just is so... <laughs> makes me happy. So... This is more of the same of kind of the journey that I'm on and, you know, I shared with you, you know, where I'm at and where I'm walking and, and how I want to write a better story for my life. And not that my story is bad or, or anything like that. It's just I, I want to really, really be conscious about um, the choices that I make 
to be able to enrich my life, to be able to draw in closer to people, to build relationships. Because for me, and it, your, your journey and your story is different. For me, I, um, I'm very, I'm a very solitude. I, I love solitude, and so that's my comfort zone. And so I really want to challenge myself to get outside of that comfort zone and and uh, meet people. Once once you're in my circle. You're, you're, you know, I want to know the story and I want to go deep and I want all of that. But actually making contact with people and, you know, saying, hi, I'm Sean, that kind of thing. Oh, it makes me, makes me, my tummy hurt. Um, cause I'm, I'm really pretty reserved and, um, happy in my little studio kind of thing. So crowds make me like, Ugh. So I'm working on that, and that's that's my story. I'm writing a new story, and I want to take more risks. I'm very risk adverse. I I'm and I'm not very spontaneous, and those kinds of things. I like a schedule and that kind of stuff. And you guys know all that about me. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit, not go crazy, because part of who I am is is who I am, and you know that's. I'm okay with that. But there are places where I want to challenge myself and grow. And that is this story. The journey is where the magic happens. And um, I'm telling you what, I have never learned a thing when I when things were easy. I always learned to the lessons or whatever it is that I need at the moment. I've always learned it in the difficult places or the scary places or the places that I've stepped out of my comfort zone. And if we can just remember that and, you know, now years down the road as an older woman, um, I have that experience under my belt and I know that it's going to be okay. Um, but I also know that somewhere in that journey, of the scariness and all of that stuff is the magic. It's where I've built character and I'm building character and where I've made deep, deep, impactful relationships and where I've um, grown the most and cared the most is in that journey. That's the magic. And too often people end up, and I have to, I'm not saying I have not, I'm not that way so much anymore, but when things get difficult, people tend to, woe is me, and it's this is a terrible thing, and I just don't know what to do, and that really stops everything, what stops our growth, and if you can just ask the questions of what am I supposed to be learning in this place, or how can I grow, or how can I help someone else in my pain or with, you know, our stories give us, um, give us something in common with people. Our pain, we, we can relate to people when we've had that pain. And so we can use that to build relationships and to help others through their pain. So there's so much, so much goodness in the journey if we allow it, if we we say, okay, here I am, I'm in this place, and I want to learn from this. I want to grow, I want to, I want to be stronger, I want to whatever it is. Um, and everything is different for each of our journeys, but there's so much magic in it. And so I'm on my journey, and things aren't painful and bad and all of that, but it's scary um, stepping out of your comfort zone and doing new things and meeting new people and, and all kinds of stuff. And, um, you know, so I am committed to um, share with you what I'm doing. And this is holding me accountable um, to actually step out and, and um, do some things and make things happen and create a really beautiful story. My story is already beautiful. I just want to add to it. How about that? So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm share. I'll be sharing some stories and some pictures and stuff. Um, hopefully every week. Maybe not, but for the most part, it'll be at least once a month. I'll be sharing exactly you know what I'm doing to create and to write a beautiful story. All right, my loves. I hope your Sunday is awesome. 
I hope that you um, will take the time to find the magic in your journey, that you are really consciously writing the beautiful story that you want for your life. And I hope this Sunday that you always, always know that you are loved. Have a great Sunday.